everything from the air just looks so much different than it does from the ground. I love the view more than I like the flying. And that was my epiphany. I picked up a camera at that point on the ground. The problem was I wasn't up in the air. And that's what led me to drone flight five years ago. Our flight program at Carroll Community College is unique. There's no other flight program like this in the state. Classes are a broad bandwidth of students. We have high school graduates, retired 70-year-old truck drivers, and everybody in the middle. So we teach them how to fly like professional pilots. This is really shaped after man flight. We give them ground school. We give them one-on-one -on -one flight instruction. Then they have to certify. This is actually a pilot's license, an unmanned aircraft vehicle pilot's license that the FAA issues. When they graduate from our course, they'll have at least 35 hours of flight time. And the students at the end of advanced flight really take a lot of pride in knowing that they graduated from this little 249 ounce drone to a 10 pound drone and can fly this thing with accuracy and precision. This is a $16,000 aircraft. This has infrared sensor on it, a laser range finder, a night vision, a 200 times zoom, so this drone I use in Annapolis a lot on search and rescues. So there's a lot of application for what we do. We fly this baby over fields to help developers when they're developing a land site. We could tell a farmer if he's over irrigating or under irrigating, assessing the health of farm fields. The telecommunication companies hire a lot of drone pilots. I would say in the next five years, most corporations are gonna have drone departments. We have all the tools, all the backing, a great program that we're constantly improving every semester. I think we've got the best flight training program in a state.